With update 2.0, I thought it's the best time to update my David Martinez build, especially how OP and broken cyberware is now, and it is so much fun to use with the Edge Runner perk and the fury you gain from it. This David Martinez build is perfect for you guys that want to live on the edge. Let's go! Let me know in the comments what other themed Cyberpunk 2.0 builds you would like to see. So generally for this build, it's a little bit different to my original David Martinez build, where in that build we use the projectile launch system, which is still like amazing in 2.0, it's actually better. But instead, now we're gonna go the Gorilla Arms for a couple of reasons, right? Because there's some amazing blunt weapon perks that benefit from the Gorilla Arms in the same way that Mantis Blades benefit from the blade skills. But in this build, we're focusing on the Gorilla Arms and also obviously we're using the Sand Devastan to slow down time. So essentially you wanna start combat, zoom around the battlefield, punch people in the face and just have a grand old time. You could also use weapons as we are using some pistols here just to kind of fit the, the cool aspect of David Martinez and we did use pistols in my original build but we sort of focused a little bit more on smart pistols but here because the smart pistols and the smart weapon line is all in intelligence it doesn't really fit comfortably in this build so we are using the dead eye and the focus mode perks that come from the cool line for different options that still sort of fit with what it, David uses in the anime right he doesn't really use shotguns though you definitely could because of our benefits to body that we do have in this build and being able to sand ever stand and slow time and run into someone's face and pop a shotgun is definitely valuable but it fits better using the focus and the dead eye perks for this sort of build plus it just is more on theme with david right i wanted to try and keep it on theme despite the fact that we're changing a little bit to my original build but the gorilla arms are amazing in 2.0 especially when you jailbreak them with the new relic tree of phantom liberty and being able to like charge up a punch that does like a shockwave effect is hilariously fun and the send ever stand is also great plus the road warrior perk to allow you to slow down time while driving. I'm just really enjoying this build as a whole. But let's break it all down. For attributes, the main three we're focusing on is technical ability, reflexes, and body. You'll definitely level technical ability first because you want to get that cyberware upgrade and perks that you do get from that line. Though secondarily, you probably will level body for the HP plus adrenaline rush. And then also if you're going to focus on blunt weapons first, then body will definitely become one of the early sort of level ups. But if you want to focus on the weapons a bit more, then you'll probably go down the cool line to get dead eye and those handguns perks first but that's sort of up to you and you could while well, you are leveling right go into assault rifles as an alternative because of the reflexes that we'll eventually get but you, you typically level reflexes last for your perks technical ability perks are the main ones you'll focus on initially so all things are cyber and then going into license to chrome for the extra cyberware slot to skeleton and ambidextrous for the extra slot to your hands you can avoid built different as we're not using the cellular adapter cyberware for this build and then grabbing everything else plus obviously edge runner because that's the critical part of this build build is that fury state for that extra damage crit chance and crit damage and it fits perfectly within this david build i'm also grabbing all of the recharge and grenade skills here like pyromania mostly to grab ticking time bomb so when you activate the sand devastan after a period of time a little emp burst will trigger around you and you also take less incoming damage while that emp is charging at the start of combat now because we're grabbing these perks if you didn't want to run the gorilla arms you could run the project our launch system and grab like doom launcher obviously grab jailbreak for the improvements to the projectile launch system allows you to send multiple projectiles out and then you can grab the launch capacity override so you can really buff the projectile launch because it is really overpowered in the 2.0 update but because of the way this build sort of functions and using blunt weapons we've gone with the gorilla arms for the body perks because gorilla arms will link with the blunt weapon perks that you get from this line like wrecking ball and quake to slam on the ground and the finish savage sling so you can pick enemies up and throw them around which is just sort of like generally fun to pick enemies up and throw them the ripple effect is also a must grab here because you gain health for every enemy hit with craig so it's like free healing which is perfect for this build we're also grabbing all of the painkiller perks for healing plus adrenaline rush so with adrenaline rush anytime you use say a blood pump or a healing item you get like an overheal so you have an orange part of your health bar which will heal above whatever your maximum health is which is really great for this build that focuses on melee and being in close proximity of all the damage 
damage that's coming towards you. In the reflexes line, we're really just grabbing like the dash skills as we want to be able to move fast in combat. We want to be able to get nice and close to enemies as fast as possible, as well as move around quickly and gain the extra mitigation chance from some of the secondary perks that come from this line. In the cool line here, we are mainly just grabbing Road Warrior because it's cool as hell that you can slow down time while driving, as well as focus for the pistols and and Deadeye. So at level three of this perk, you'll unlock Deadeye mode, which it gives you an additional headshot damage and weak spot damage, plus no bullet spread. So you can just hip fire this and hit targets in the face from any range. And then you can buff this with something like long shot so that there is no damage fall off. So even with a pistol here, you can deal an insane amount of damage from range just by having Deadeye active to be able to deal that damage. For our cyberware, Gorilla Arms is the main one here. Now we've already touched on why this is important but Gorilla Arms are going to be your main sort of damage dealer unless you're going to do a little bit of range with the pistol, but you'll use the Gorilla Arms mostly. Now, as mentioned, you could go the projectile launch system, but that's entirely up to you if you want to go that route because you can still knock people out without having the Gorilla Arms, but the amount of damage you get from the new Cyberware in 2.0 is just sort of worth having the Gorilla Arms for that melee combat plus the perks from Blunt Weapons. In the Skeleton line, we're really just focusing on things that increase your overall armor, giving you technical ability ability attunement for that armor so you can take a lot of that damage in melee range universal booster is good but dense marrow is an absolute must to increase your melee damage and your which even though it does increase the melee damage stamina cost you can get stamina back in other ways your nervous system we're grabbing adreno trigger so you get movement speed as you enter combat so you can get close into targets as fast as possible it's also helpful when you're activating the sand devastan to have that movement speed so you can get there quicker and then in the other systems we're using pain editor chitin and the peripheral in furnace just to reduce incoming damage in the legs we're going a leroy's ligament system to increase our movement speed again so you can get into that melee range circulatory system we want to make sure we stay alive so something like biomonitor that auto heals you the blood pump because it's a great healing item and then the micro rotors to increase your melee attack speed all great things to pick up i'm also using the oracle kuroshi here with body attuned for the extra health that comes with that and the operating system we are obviously using the sand devastan it is up to you what sand devastan you want to use whether you want to use the apology or the falcon militech i'm using the falcon militech one here because it gives 10 percent extra damage the 15 percent crit chance and the 10 percent crit damage if you go the other option with the apology you get 10 percent headshot damage 9 percent crit and 13 percent crit now because it's only headshot damage with the Apogee. That's why I'm going the Falcon because 10% damage across the board is better than just 10% headshot damage. You could go the Apogee route for that 10% headshot damage because it links perfectly with how we're using Focus and Deadeye from the cool line, but that's up to you. I just think that the extra 10% damage is a bit more flexible so you can use it for other things rather than just having to always hit the head all of the time. The weapon slots aren't too important here, right? Like as long as you're using some sort of a pistol, you are good to go. There's some incredible pistols in Phantom Liberty expansion. You can also grab a melee weapon here that you want to use, like say a bat or some sort of a hammer until you get the gorilla arms. Once you've got the gorilla arms, you're probably just going to use that. I wouldn't really worry about switching to something else. And then you've obviously got your Sand Devastan equipped and you're good to go. A couple of tips to note while leveling out this build, because this is a, it's an expensive build to put together right and not only in terms of being expensive for perks and attributes but also in terms of cyberware being able to get the sand ever stand and gorilla arms and focusing on that while you're leveling you may want to go into the shotgun or lmg line of the body tree or because we are also leveling out the reflexes skill you could go into those perks there just to give you some sort of extra options in the early game because it takes a long time for cyberware to really get going especially in 2.0 so don't worry about like if it takes you a long time to put this build together you know create something in the early game that works using weapons using whatever and then use that free reset of attributes that you can use if you do want to or you can just change your perks whenever you like because changing your perks now is free so you don't have to necessarily reset your old perks you could just go into the shotgun line and then when you don't want to use shotguns anymore just refund all those perks for free and then change your, your build in that way as long as you're getting the attributes correct you should be fine one thing to call out here is that when you're looking at clothing to wear there are pieces of gear that will still actually give you armor so you can get head pieces that give you armor as well as chest pieces and there are other passive you can get from them as well so just keep an eye out for these clothing items that will actually give you a little bit of extra armor just to give you that little bit extra for this sort of milli build that could really use it 
But let me know what you think about this build. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till the end, thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza, and I hope you have a great day.